Welcome to Healthy Living with Mila. In fact, I am on my way to see Dr. Suresh, but before that, I am going to give you all what we're going to do for this episode. The topic is still the same, obesity that affects body system or body organs. Now, on this, that's doctor talk. On our exercise, uh, we will have this enjoyable exercise that you can follow us. And the cooking segment is our chef who'd been with us last year and he's coming back to show us this healthy salad that everyone will enjoy to lose that body fat or being obese. And our community visit with find Dr. Suez. We're back on our Dr. Talk segment. Welcome to Healthy Living with Mila. Guess what? Our favorite Dr. Suresh, who is going to give you all the information, the body system, what it affects being obese. Dr. Suresh, welcome back. Thank you so much for your time again. What organ system affects when you are obese? Thank you, Mila. Eventually, obesity affects every organ system. It begins with affecting your musculoskeletal system. For example, your posture, your gait, and the way you sit, stand, walk, and talk, and climb, and even sleep, are all influenced by the obese situation. So you find that as time passes, you begin to get ankle pains, knee pains, backache, and you begin to walk in a particular fashion. You are, you are slower, you are awkward, and that affects your entire physique and also your thought processes because you are aware of that. Yeah. So that is the apparent effect outside the organ systems. Thereafter, as fat begins to accumulate in every organ, mm -hmm. it affects every organ system. For example, we spoke sometime about, about belly fat. The fat you see outside is also inside. That fat sits on the liver, the spleen, the kidney, the intestines mm -hmm. and choke all of them and affect all their function. So your system of digestive system is not any more normal when a big load of fat sits inside the abdomen choking your body system. But eventually the consequence of obesity are diabetes, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. high cholesterol. They eventually affect the heart, the brain, the kidney, the nerves and every single system, the eyes, and also the mind, because psychologically also these impairments affect your quality of thinking. So even depression is a very important consequence of obesity. Now, doctor, um, is there any prevention or preventative method that um, being obese can do? I think it's obvious. The imbalance between the calories you take and the energy you spend. So take money in the bank. Mm -hmm. If you save your money, your bank balance grows. It's a healthy thing. But if you save your calories, they accumulate as fat and creates a major problem. Mm -hmm. If your lifestyle is rather sedentary, then reduce your calorie consumption. If an active lifestyle, if you're a farmer in the highlands climbing and cultivating, yes. you may require even 3000 calories a day. So match your food intake to energy output. The simplest way of preventing obesity is to understand that simple equation. Today's world is imposing on you a sedentary way of life. From a child to a student mm -hmm. to a young professional to a senior professional to a retired person, you are more and more sedentary, yet consuming more calories than what you need or what you can burn. So today, obesity is almost not preventable unless you make choices in your life. Um, doctor, is there any um, medical method or surgical method or those kind of things that can help to cure obesity? There are, but we all recommend the healthier way of, way of tackling obesity first. Very, very few will have obesity caused by a disease process. It's invariably in modern times an imbalance between your energy intake and your energy expenditure. 
you have to understand that it is quality of food that matters and not the quantity. Quality keeps you healthy. Quantity gives you obesity. Learn to say no to yourself and to others regarding what food choices you want to make. Yeah. Go to a wedding, go to a birthday party. If you're able to say, I come celebrate the occasion with you, not to have half your cake. That decision, only you can make it. Mm -hmm. In life, you make choices all the time. You decide what is a good choice. That responsibility ultimately comes back to you. Yeah. Obesity, if you treat by understanding food intake and food consumption patterns. If that doesn't work, then we go on to treatments. Now, they are not easy. They are not uh, economical. They're expensive. They're exp yeah. You have drugs and you have surgery. The drugs merely do what we fail to do. The drugs actually block the, the absorption of calories from your food. So when you use a drug to control your absorption, you can't absorb, you can't block only sugar. You absorb, you're blocking also with vitamin C and B and A and D and all and, and, and minerals and many, many important nutrients. Yeah. Surgery is even more complex. It's called bariatrics. Whatever we do in surgery, the principle is that you shorten or you, the, the size of your stomach. You make it smaller. So thereby, you are restricting the yes. amount of food you can possibly take. Yes. Let's, for example, you could, you could have, a, have a double whopper till last week. Mm -hmm. After bariatric surgery, you'll barely be having one slice of bread. Because you're already filling that. You have, you're controlling filler. the volume of your stomach and your intestines. Who do you think this type of medical uh, method, like surgery and those things, are advisable to get into or to take? The best question out there, I think the, the afternoon is that. You asked me the most important question. We only address, offer that to morbid obesity, which means people who are morbidly obese, 135 kilo or more, yes. roughly speaking. The people 150 kilos, 170 kilos, even more. So that's called obesity, which is morbid, a major problem. Yes. So most others, we can get them back on the road to good health by dietary interventions and, and medical treatment. Surgery we only offer to those whose health and life is at risk from the massive obesity. Yeah, wow. There you go, guys. At home, all the knowledge and all the explanation that Dr. Suresh had given us, it is very, very important for us to assess to take care of our health. So, Dr. Suresh, what a wonderful knowledge that you have imparted to us again. Thank you so much. Welcome to Healthy Living with Mila. It's cooking time! Guess what? Our topic for today, as what Dr. Sora said, obesity can affect organs. Whatever you eat, all the food that you have eaten, it gives an information and materials into your body that will affect the whole of your body system. If you eat too much with less nutrients on it, you will become obese. Excess of that fat into your body, undernourished, and of course, it will develop diseases and conditions that your body will suffer. We have this gorgeous athletic surfer chef that I have met before. Welcome back, Chef Paul. Oh. Really <laughs> lovely to meet you again. Thank you, Mila. I can't believe this. Anyway, <laughs> Chef Paul is going to prepare us this marvelous, complete macro and micronutrients 
that is good to make your organ healthy. Okay, we're gonna do a great salad recipe today using some local fresh mackerel and lots of different colorful salad ingredients here. The first thing we'll do is get cooking with some of these grains here. We have some pearl couscous, we have some quinoa, it's called tricolor quinoa, and I have some pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, and black and white sesame seeds. What we'll do, we'll just flip these into the pot. In here, it's just boiling water, just with a touch of sea salt, and I'll cook the couscous and the quinoa at the same time. Ah, you combine that. Okay, Miller, this is quinoa. This is one of these amazing superfoods. Mm -hmm. It's become really popular these days. It's full of fibre, full of vitamins, full of nutrients, yes. and it doesn't carry any fat or anything and bad for you. And I think that you. is also recommended for people who are athletic and fitness, fit because of the protein content. It has a good protein content of that, as well as the couscous pearl. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Uh, these uh, these superfoods are really popular these days. So what I've got here are my, um, my seeds with no oil, no butter. I'm just yep. gonna give that a little bit of a toast. This is going to add some texture to the salad, like the crunchiness. And also the nutrients. Yeah, also the of nutrients that. as yes, well. So yes. it's very important when you're making you're making salads or any food to have different textures. Exactly. So the crunchiness, the softness, it all balances really well together. Obviously, and nutrition as well. So yes. we'll go back to the uh, the ingredients we have here. So I touched on the mackerel here. We've got some fresh mushrooms. These are available but uh, they are very expensive, but they're really good for you. So we're just gonna use a little bit of fresh mushroom. Yes. Have some walnuts, some chickpeas, red kidney beans. These guys are pretty much the, fall into the same sort of category. You know what I have noticed? The best part of this salad is full of protein. It is totally balanced in macro nutrients. It has a carbohydrates from the seeds, and also from the couscous and quinoa. And then we have the um, mackerel. We have all these seeds and lentils. It's excellent for the muscles, yes. for the brain, for the organs. That's correct. And the good thing is with this dish is it's quick to make and anyone can do it at home. One of the most important things too, when you're doing salads, you're using vegetables, is to give them a good clean as well after yes, you've bought them from the market. Course. So I've already washed all of this here, just a light wash in water, just to take any bacteria that may be there. Yes. Um, and really, by the time the fish is cooked, we should have our salad made. That's exactly. it's a very quick dish. This is the sort of thing that you want to, you can have every day for lunch. Yes. Every day of the week. You know what I have noticed here? As what I have said before, viewers, there are three types of macros. Carbohydrates, protein, and fats. You always have to have those three on your plate because carbohydrates can give you your iron, your folate, your vitamin K, from your greens, all those kind of things that is good for your organ. And then your protein, which is the building block yes. of our muscles, of our eyes, the brain, as what I have said before. And you have to remember, if you don't eat fat, do you expect to lose fat? Of course not. So you have to choose the right fat that is good for your heart, exactly the same as what you can get from the fish, as mackerel, salmon, sardines, all those things. And also, the cheese. These are all the proper, complete, balanced, macro and nutrients content of your food. You should eat that every day. That's correct. So what, what we'll do now, Miller, is we'll just get these seeds out of the pan and we'll get mm -hmm. the, fish, the fish cooking so we can put together the salad. Yes. So I'll just, I've got my little bowl here, we'll just, we'll... Uh, that's too small. That's enough for, for a couple of salads, I think, isn't it? So I've got some celery here first. Now, we're just gonna roughly chop our salad Pretty much most things can go into this salad. We're just doing up a really big mixed salad here with the, with the cheese and the, uh, the grains and the couscous and the quinoa. The quinoa and the couscous is just about cooked. I think that's been simmering for about this. So we've got a few different bowls here, different mm -hmm. things. 
we've got our, um, our basically our fresh ingredients in here, and then we're going to add our walnuts here. Just, yes. Just a little bit. Walnuts. You know that. I, can yeah. I have a look? Can you see the shape of the walnut? It shapes like grain. That. That's good for your brain. Mate. Exactly. If it looks like your brain, it's good for your brain. Yes. I think all of these. Like pulses and legumes, yes. chickpeas, kidney beans, lentils, anything along those along that line is always going to be really good for you. Yes. Great fibre, good for your digestion, um, really great food for especially for salads. Yes. The pan's still really hot from yeah. where I toasted the seeds. So we're going to do a couple of things at one time here. I'm going to cook the fish. We're going to strain off. If you. We're going to strain off the quinoa and mm -hmm. the couscous. You can see in here now, the it, it needs to be tender. Yes. So the couscous is uh, soaked in the water, and the quinoa has opened up. And you'll notice yep. they have, the quinoa has like little tails on it. Yes. And that means yes. it's cooked. So all I'm doing now is just strain it. Strain the water off that, and that's ready to go. For a salad, Perfect. we want that to be a little bit cool. So really hot pan. As we can see, it's probably even a little bit too hot. But the hotter the better. So the fish yes. is straight in. All I've put in there is just a little bit of olive oil. Um, Chef yes? Paul, can you please give us your tip on cooking fish? I, I, I believe that if you overcook the fish, you are killing the nutrients of it. Yes, that's true. That's true with 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 most things, Miller. If you if you overcook it too much, deep fry it till it's really dry. You cook all the uh, the nutrients out of it. Yeah. Same as boiling things too much as well. Fish is just about done. We've got our salad ingredients here. We've got a few other things here we haven't put in there yet. Mm -hmm. So we'll just give them a little fine slice. Some mushrooms, just a little bit. Mushrooms go in. Then we've got our kidney beans kidney that we beans. spoke about earlier. Yes. They can go in there. Our chickpeas. Then we've cracked open our avocado. It's just starting to oxidise. Avocados are really difficult here to buy. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Well, to get them when they're right. They're either rock hard, yes, so they're you can't eat them, or they're too soft. Yes. I'll just squeeze that ah. out of the out of there. Voila. I think the, your bowl is too small. I'll just remove this a little bit here. Yeah, okay, I was okay. thinking that. So I'm just going to transfer this into something Perfect. a little bit bigger. Yes. Just so we can Yay. toss it. Yeah. Wow, look at I that. I don't know if that's going to be um, big enough, but we'll give it a try. Yes. So we've got everything in there, except for a couple of salad leaves as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have, oh, that's, that's right, there we yep. go. So I'm just going to use my knife. This is iceberg lettuce, it's just a uh, very, Normal lettuce here, you get lots of different types here. So we'll just put that in there. Nothing's nothing's dressed yet. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make it really simple. And most of the time when you're doing dressings, we're looking at about two-thirds oil and about one-third vinegar. Vinegar being vinegar or lemon juice or any citric acid really. Yes, that's it's, right. Yeah, it's sort of like a handful of vinegar, two or three handfuls of oil. You always remember that. So we're just gonna use a little bit of olive oil into the bowl. We're going to use a little bit of our sea salt we have down here. Yes, and that has a pepper too. Just a little bit of pepper ah, in there as well. Ah, and then perfect. I'll just give it a little bit of lemon juice. Citric acid is really good for you. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is essentially just for dressing the salad. So I think we have all the components in there, Miller. We'll just put a bit of our, this is cooled down now. So this is our quinoa. Yeah. Quinoa being the, the browner colour, little bits there, and the pearl couscous is the larger one. That'll add a little tiny bit of carbohydrate to the dish. And yes, and, and high fibre. Yeah, high fibre as well. So we already have our salt and pepper in this one here. So let's just... Also, you don't combine the, the um, no, balsamic vinegar. I find that. if I put balsamic vinegar, everything goes black. Oh, and it okay. doesn't look as peeling. Yeah, but the blackish the food is the highest antioxidant oh, is it? Okay. and that will free the radicals in oh. the body. So Miller, you just put those little plates, we'll do two bowls, we'll no do worries. one in a bowl and one on a plate. Okay. okay. Then we can have Perfect. two. Perfect. So we'll just dish up now. Yes. 
often I just like letting food fall into the plate. I find if you play with it too much, mm -hmm. um, it takes time and the best, way to, the best way to present food is just letting it fall. Most yep. of the time you'll just let the food talk for itself. So the fish, literally, I, I think we had that on the heat for about 30 seconds, didn't we? Yes. The pan kept the heat. Yes. Hopefully we haven't overcooked it too much, but we've just got the little piece of mackerel on top. I don't think so. I still think it looks pretty good. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> that's my style. Yeah. I've never done that one that well. <laughs> we keep on rolling. Oh, here we Look. go. We've got some... Nicole, please come here. And Wang, please, Wang, come, please come and have come. a try here. But be sure you leave something for me, hey? And the cameraman and have also the other please producer. Be, have a try. Judy. Dig in there. <laughs> Dig in. There you go, guys. What a wonderful cooking time. And we hope that you have learned all this nutritional content, the macronutrients. You always have to have a balanced food from your carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Don't be scared. Fat is good for you, but you have to choose the right fat. Exercise, exercise, exercise. The best thing that you can do in your life. Welcome back. I have here all my friends from 3K, Connie Dobo Canoe Club. Guess what? Thank you very much, ladies, for joining me today. They are all having fun of doing their daily lives, being involved with their sports, and also training. Now, today is the continuation of our fundamental body movement, doing exercise with body weight. This body weight will enhance your ability to strengthen your organs to prevent you from obesity. Come on, ladies and gentlemen and children, you can follow what they are doing. Let's go. Hang knee lifting is good for you. It strengthens the entire of your body. It conditions your mind. It conditions your muscles. And more so, it helps to strengthen the organ and prevent you from obesity. Mountain climb, one of the best exercise that you can strengthen your butt, your hamstring, your quad, especially your core where your tummy is. And on your upper body, it strengthens your back, your chest, and the whole of your arms. Don't forget to inhale and exhale. Mountain climb. Spider. Great for your butt, great for your legs, Great for your core, great for your upper body, your back, your chest, your arms. Don't forget, inhale, exhale. Fundamental movement, squatting. It strengthens your calves, your hamstring, your quads, your butt, especially your core. Inhale and exhale. Step up on a bench or on the stairs. This workout, full body workout, strengthen your upper and lower body, especially your heart. It gives that boost. Inhale and exhale. Muscle targeting, calves, quad hamstring, butt, your core. Bulgarian lunges. You can do it on the bench, your stairs, your chair. This will really target your quads, your hamstring, your ankles, 
And of course, by engaging your core, it will strengthen the mid of your body that protects and supports your upper body. Flippers on your back. This is great for your lower abdomen, your butt, and also it strengthens your digestive system. Inhale and exhale. Twisting, body twisting. On your back, lift it up. Part of your crunches exercise, it targets the entire of your core, strengthening your cardio, strengthening your lower legs and upper legs, and good for your organs. There you go, guys. Exercise should not be an intimidating activity that you can do. Canoe Club in Conidobo have showed you the easiest way to condition and strengthen your mind and your body, strengthen your core, strengthen the whole of your organs to prevent you from getting obese. Thank you very, very much, ladies, from Conidobo Canoe Club, especially the management and Mr. Aaron Potts, the general manager of the Royal Papua Yacht Club. Thank you, sir. There you go, girls. Yay, beautiful. Yay. Come on, hold your hand and hands now. Our, come on, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Trust, trust, trust. Trust each other. Don't Community Visits is Miller's way of doing awareness on having a healthy, balanced lifestyle. As part of the Healthy Lifestyle Program, Miller gets to visit families and people in their communities around the National Capital District and also the Central Province. In doing so, Miller has touched lives and encourages many to continue with their health and fitness journey. The two communities visited so far are Kuikila Vocational and Gaba Gaba Primary School. Miller emphasizes that understanding your diet and knowing what goes into your body is as important as exercise. This helps reduce obesity and any other health conditions related, such as high blood pressure and cardiac illnesses. Sharing with everyone about the importance of a healthy meal is the message Miller conveys through her community visit program. The following week, Miller's next stop was at Gaba Gaba Primary School filled with so many energetic students. Miller aims to spread the word to as many viewers, listeners, and communities throughout Papua New Guinea. Continue to watch Healthy Living with Miller to find out which community she visits next. Yeah!